How are you approaching oil and gas? I think oil and gas is the deal of the century. I mean, it is the returns on oil and gas are so extreme that you don't even have to talk about the future. Right. You have companies that are literally turning into cash. Um, <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, like there, there, there are there are oil and gas companies where the yield is so high that you get all of your money back in three years or four mm -hmm. years. So we could talk about the future. Where's the power going to go? Are people going to be driving cars or drones going to be using diesel? You know, but it doesn't it doesn't matter because it's not the horizon is the horizon of of making a profit is so much shorter than any rational person would talk about that. The, the interesting thing, like when you look at the, I mean, there's, there, there, there are a bunch of, of really well run companies like Crescent and Sandridge, um, you know, that ha have exponentially high returns, but the market hates them. And when I, when I talk to people in other parts of the country, like when you talk to people in Texas, they're a little confused by the whole thing. They're like, well, why would anyone, you know, why, why wouldn't people invest in that? Yeah. And to the rest of, to a lot of the developed world, it's like pornography. Yeah. You know, in other words, they just don't care. Like if someone came to me and said, hey, you should buy this great <laughs> porn channel, <laughs> you know, I would be like, no, you don't even have to tell me what the return is. Like, no, my, my kids wouldn't have any friends come over. Yeah. Um, but if you, you know, if you're in certain parts of the country in certain parts of the world and you're, uh, you know, you're producing oil and natural gas, people will drive their Range Rovers away from you in droves. So if I told you, okay, you're right but there's not a lot of liquidity in the system. Like you can go buy these high yielding is the play to just buy these, uh, these stocks or whatever, and just let them keep paying dividends until like, just milk them for everything. Like, is that the player in your position? Have you seen throughout your career liquidity will be back? Or is this an, like, as you see it right now, is like, there's nothing showing me that money's headed back into this industry anytime soon. I just don't see a lot of liquidity coming back, which makes the deals better and better, surprisingly. But you have to ignore the stock price. Like, in, in other words, you, you just have to ignore the fact that the market's not going to realize this. Now, look, at a certain point, it starts off as oil and becomes cash. So people may not like natural gas, but they do like cash and they can, they can explain it. A company like Sandridge is probably half cash right now. I mean, it's, and it will be full cash, you know, I would guess in 36 months, um, or certainly equal to, uh, to, to, to the share price. So I think you just have to, you've got to just do it and, um, you know, enjoy the, uh, enjoy the, the, the dividends. Um, any, anyone who has money for it is a hundred percent invested, you know, and the world is kind of moving away from it. It's just, it's not worth it for the Blackstones and the Apollos and the, and the pension funds to mess with it because it's a small part of their, their universe and will alienate a big part of their investment group. Have you ever seen that happen across any other asset classes? I think that there have been things that have been just unpopular, you yeah. know, for, for many reasons, airlines, you know, like people who've been burnt in airlines just don't want to talk about it. They don't want to hear about it. They just feel like it's not, um, it's not there. There are some things that are somewhat distasteful, like mining, um, you know, where people may just decide I don't want to be part of it. Tobacco is another thing. And so some of these things I don't like, so I'm not, I'm yeah. not saying that these are all great products. I may defend someone's right to use these products, but I probably don't want to invest in a vaping company. You don't want to be the king of vapor. I don't want to be the king of vapor. Or cigarettes. Right. <laughs> or porn for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> or porn. But there is a market for them. It's just, it's, it's always interesting when you throw the energy and oil and gas conversation and there is, um, you know, it's not killing it's it's helping us thrive as a as a as a globe we've needed it for a long time um yeah and, and look i i think it will evolve but again the return is so short you don't even have to talk about it like if you build a building you don't get your money back pretty much ever you know like uh, 10 years 20 years i mean you really have to know what the markets 
um, going to happen before you've returned 100% of your your capital, not through a sale or through refinancing, just through cash flow. But oil and gas, it's a couple of years. 